In the next problem, we're going to change from a fractional format to a decimal one. Express 7 twelfths as a decimal. In order to change from the fraction to a decimal, we're going to note that the fraction bar indicates division. So we'll have 7 being divided by 12. Now, 12 does not go into 7, so we're going to have to add a decimal point and put a 0. In our quotient, we'll indicate that as follows. 12 goes into 70 five times. 5 times 12 is 60. Subtracting, we come up with a 10. Notice we have to continue on, so we're going to put a 0 and bring down a 0. 12 into 100 goes 8 times. 8 times 12 is going to give us 96. We'll subtract. We're going to come up with a 4. Since we have a remainder, we continue going. Put a 0. Bring down a 0. 12 into 40 goes 3 times. 3 times 12 is going to give us 36. We subtract. We come up with a 4. Put a 0. Bring down a 0. Now, at this point, you may recognize that we got the same remainder as we had in our previous step. But if you don't recognize that, as you start doing the division, you'll notice it. Because 12 into 40 will go three times. We'll end up getting our 36. We subtract. We get a 4 again. What this indicates to us is that we're going to have a continuation of the threes as we, can, as we go on. So we're going to indicate that by saying that 7 twelfths could be written as a decimal. By putting the point .58, we put the 3, and we put a bar on top of the 3, indicating the continuation.